Hey guys, it's your favorite Portland Bears here. Chef Chuck, Dave G. Today we're gonna make some snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles. Snickering doodles. Peck and Nosh coming at you. That's right, a little crispy, a little chewy, a little cinnamony, a little sugar. Mmm. Okay, let's go do it. Let's make this. Let's do it now. So while Chuck is busy measuring out his ingredients here, I, I wanted to take the time here and read a few of our comments from our Peck and Nosh page on YouTube. Nice. And um, yeah, so, so this one says, that David G is such a sexy hunk. Why isn't he in the videos more often? What? And, and I, I say that myself too. And this one here says, that David G is such a sexy hot daddy. I need more hot daddiness in my- Let me see that. No, no, trust Let me. Let me see that. <laughs> Flower. Mmm. Look at that. Perfect. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Our ingredients are butter, sugar, eggs, AP flour, cream of tartare, baking soda. Well, let's to mix it. Come on. First thing we're gonna do is cream our butter and sugar. Put that together. Let's put our little mixer together. Hello, Mr. Mixer. How are you? All right. Start out on medium low speed. Just to get it going. Ding dong. Oops. Yeah, I'm just making sure all the butter is not clumped up on the uh, paddle. <laughs> Scrape the bowl down in preparation to add the huevos. And for those of you who don't know, those are eggs. Huevos. Huevos. So now we're going to turn the mix back on a little low speed and we're going to add our eggs little by little. Guess what? We're gonna scrape the bowl down, baby! Woohoo! Yeah, baby, yeah, scrape it down. All right, bowl scraped. Now we're gonna finish adding our huevos. Huevos rancheros. Muchachos, woohoo! Get down here, pay attention. Looks great. I'll scrape the bottle. Uh, scrape the bowl down. I'm gonna scrape the bowl down again. I'm here. Bequeath my flour to my eggs and butter and sugar mixture, and it's gonna happen. So yeah. Anyway, so just make sure you scrape everything down. You don't want any chunks of butter in your dough. You want everything nice and smooth, All right? Okay, that looks great. Beautiful, fantastic. Oh my God, chef, you're just unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so I got my cream of tartar and my baking soda. I'm just gonna add it in there. Just mix it around just a tad. Remember you're at home and you can use your finger. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add a little flour to start. Get my little cockeyed here. 
Anyway, <laughs> I'm very cockeyed. <laughs> and don't read too much into that. <clears> okay, <throat> guys. Slowly mix, get it going. Don't want to make a big flowery mess. Or maybe you do, I don't know. <clears throat> Add the rest to your dry. That looks absolutely fantastic. I'm tempted to eat half the bowl. Okay. Next step, since this dough is very, very soft and sticky, we want to allow it to chill in the refrigerator or freezer. Um, I'm gonna say freezer, let's go with the freezer. Uh, for at least, you know, an hour or two, okay? Sounds very good. Yes, the freezer. The freezer it is! All right. And if you wanna use the refrigerator, it's just gonna take longer. Um, and we are going to bake these from frozen. Uh, if we bake our room temp dough, they're going to they're going to spread all over the place, right? Then you have thin, and then it just won't work. So freezing them slows that spreading process because of the contrast between the hot and the cold, right, in the oven. And yeah, so let's go do that. Yeah. Now we're going to put these in the freezer. Put the dough out on the sheet pan. Gonna press it down so it just speeds up the process of chilling and setting. <clears throat> I'm gonna put that in the freezer for a couple hours. It's gonna be a lot easier to shape. And then once we shape them, still cold, we're going to roll them in the cinnamon and sugar and bake them. Yeah. Oh, hi! So now that we have let our dough refrigerate overnight, we're going to roll them into little balls. It's about an ounce and a half, two ounces per um, scoop. I'm eyeballing it, as you can see, with my trusty little fork. It's very fantastic. Look at that. It's the same. Unbelievable. Very nice. So, obviously, these are going to spread quite a bit. So, I'm just going to put six per pan, and that's about it, right? Yeah. I got two cups of granulated sugar in here and half a cup of cinnamon. You can adjust that either way. If you like more cinnamon, if you like less cinnamon, I highly recommend using Vietnamese cinnamon for this because it's just great. Check out Penzi's Spices and get stuff online. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, okay. And now I have about one and a half ounce, two ounce balls of dough that I've rolled. I'm gonna roll them in the sugar, right? Wee! Yummy, yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Put them in the oven. Seven to ten minutes. I'm going to start with seven. What? Timer went off. I'm gonna check them. Possibly rotate them. Ooh. Yeah, they need more time. Let's do seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more minutes. Let's see what happens. I may add a minute or two. Depends on the caramelization and whatnot, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah. What the what? Okay, anyway. 
Beep. Oh my god, the timer's on. So now, I added an extra minute, mostly based on this oven, so uh, we'll see. Oh. So now we're going to let them cool down at room temp. Uh, I don't know, until they're cool. Um, and then, I think I'm going to eat one. I'll probably like sacrifice one hot right now because I just like that. Which means I'm very patient. <laughs> oh my god, ow! <sighs> yeah, they're hot. But I can't wait. Mmm. 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 That's very good. That's it. So I've made a few little smaller ones. These are about an ounce. And that's it. Same baking time, same temperature of dough. And that's my story. And I'm probably not going to stick to it. But for now, I will. So guys, hit like, subscribe, let us know what you think. How was that cookie? Mmm, it's delicious. Uh, I need some milk now. Oh, uh, milk on the way. That's right. Bye. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.